Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company, and I've got a couple of Jin Hao pens here. I've got an X750 and an X450, and I want to show you how to swap the nibs out of these pens. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the nibs in them are okay, um, but they're only medium nibs, the ones that I have here, and I want a wider range. Maybe I'd like a 1.1 millimeter italic. Maybe I would like an extra fine. Um, these are nib sizes that aren't available in the Jin Hao. Uh, however, there are other companies that make them. I've got my own Goulet nibs, which I obviously am kind of biased towards, uh, but there's other nibs that you can get too, from Monteverde, from Twisby, from Edison, um, and from other companies that might have number six size nibs as well. You can get those nibs and use them in this pen. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do, is to use other people's nibs in the Jin Hao pen. I have a couple of different Jin Hao pens here. I've got the X450, this is the red and gold, which I think is just kind of cool. And then the X750. And the reason I chose these two different ones was not only to show you how the nib swap between the two, but because the trim color is different. You got gold on this one and silver color on this one. So um, the concept is gonna be the same for both pens. So I'm gonna use the X450 uh, as the example here, but keep in mind it's the exact same for the 450 and 750. Um, it's got a number six size nib, which if you're familiar with that, the Noodler's pens of number six size, Monteverde, Twisby VAC 700, Edison has a bunch, and then my Goulet nibs, um, which I originally brought in so that you can have a non-flex option for the Noodler's flex nib pens. Jin Hao wasn't even on my radar when we developed these pens. However, it was very obvious once we started investigating carrying Jin Hao on GuleyPens.com that our nibs would fit on here and it was just very natural, like a no-brainer about carrying the Jin Hao so that you know you could even have even more utility for the Goulet nibs. Um, so it's very simple of how you swap these things out. Um, here's the nib, here's the feed. It's friction fit inside the grip of this pen. You don't even have to take the pen apart. All you gotta do is take the cap off, like I have, and then just grab your finger, uh, your two fingers here, your thumb and your index finger. You can flip it around and do it that way if it's more comfortable for you. Me personally, I prefer to do it this way. You wanna grab down as close to the base as you can. You don't wanna grab the grip because that's not gonna get you anywhere. You don't wanna grab the tip. You don't, you don't wanna bend and twist the tip and stuff like that. So you wanna get a firm grip down here at the base of the nib and the feed as far down as you can go. And you pull it firmly and then pull it out. If you have to, kind of rock it side to side, kind of in this motion a little bit. And then it'll kind of loosen it up and then it should just pull the nib and the feed out together sliding it right out of the grip of the pen. Okay, and then when it does that, the two are just gonna kinda naturally separate because there's nothing holding them on there except the friction of fitting in the pen. Okay, so there's your Jin Hao nib, which is uh, a medium on this pen. Uh, but let's say I wanna make this a 1.1 stub. Okay, so I've got my two-tone Goulet Pins nib. Um, you wanna put it in place just like you took off the Jin Hao one. If you wanna look on the underside, you can see here that the feed mates up to the nib nicely. You want it to be about in that position, okay? So you want the tip of the feed, the two um, shoulders of the feed, I guess if you wanna call it that, will meet up. I don't know if that's a correct term, but the, the end of the feed there uh, will mate up about to the edge of the nib. That's gonna be approximately where it is. Once you get the thing seated in the pen, it's gonna naturally stop you in the right place. Okay, and then once you have the pen, there's got these kind of triangular grip things going on here. Those don't really help orient you too much because there's three of them. So as long as much as you rotate this pen, it's not gonna tell you where it needs to go in. You gotta look inside the front of the pen here. So if you look in, oh boy, I hope I can show you. There's one flat part on the inside and that is going to mate up to the flat part on the feed right here. Okay, so that's on the underside of the feed. So really you can kind of just go by feel because it's not going to fit in the, the pen except in one direction. Actually, you can probably jam it in the wrong way, so maybe I shouldn't say that. But you wanna make sure that the flat part that's raised up a little bit inside the pen there will mate up to the flat part that's cut out of the feed. That's really the magic spot that you're going for. And when you do that, it'll fit in there fairly easily. And then just with a gentle push, it should fit in there nicely, and the curved part of the feed should start to curve right up into that grip. That'll tell you about where it is, and that'll, it'll point you right in the right place. The nib will stop you positively, just so about the inscription of the nib size will 
to be just a little bit above where that grip is. And that is where it's supposed to be. So now you can see it fits in there nicely. And then you ink it up, right with it, you're good to go. So I've got an X750 here that I've got inked up. Uh, I usually don't prefer to change out my nibs when they're inked up, but you're totally free to do that. Um, just to give you a little sample here, I've got, oh my gosh, my writing's terrible, but you get the idea. So Jinhao medium. Okay, but let's say I wanna go finer than that, right? I wanna change it out with a Goulet extra fine. Now you can just use your fingers or a rubber glove or something like that. Me personally, I think that a paper towel is more than sufficient. Um, just kind of do the same thing, grip it in the same place, pull it out. Now keep in mind that your feed is gonna be all inked up here, so you wanna be careful handling the feed. Pull that nib off of there. Now I'm gonna put a Goulet Extra Fine on here. And I'm gonna try to navigate it with the paper towel. It's kind of inevitable you're gonna get ink on your fingers but there we go did okay now the ink needs to work its way through there so you're going to have to you know kind of jostle a little, little bit you may want to you may want to actually open up the pen here and kind of force a little bit of ink down through the feed to get that ink flowing again through this nib that now needs to be primed or you could fill the pen again that would be another option but there we go, I kind of just drowned the feed and the nib a little bit. So we'll see if I can get that going. You can also kind of touch it to the paper towel. Maybe I didn't drown it enough. Let's see if I can't try to wick it through. It's usually easier if you just go ahead and fill the pen again. This is why I usually don't recommend drying or uh, filling from a, sorry, swapping a nib on a wet pen. There we go. Now we're cranking. Okay, so now it's working again. I've got a Goulet Extra Fine in here. There we go. So, got a little bit finer writing now. Swapped out the nib without too much difficulty, even on an already inked up pen. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions about swapping nibs on the Gin House or about anything else with fountain pens, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Ink Nouveau, or on YouTube. Thanks for watching today, and right on.